Did you like Doha? I love Doha. We were having a great time exploring. Yeah, yeah it's great. Great. Thank you for coming. Thanks Thank you for, for having being me. on Inflow Summit stage. It's a great honor to host you here. So let's start with a couple of questions. As most of people uh, know you from the TV series. You're a TV series star, you're a movie actress, and also author, and also social media influencer. Lots of skills. What, what do you think uh, about the uh, transition between the traditional media to social media, to digital media? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really interesting. You know, I started my YouTube channel, I think maybe four years ago. And at that time, you weren't seeing a lot of actors go into the YouTube space. It was YouTubers wanting to become actors and get into that you know, sort of space. And uh, when I came out with my channel, it was not really looked highly upon. I think a lot of people were like, you're going to start a YouTube channel, but you're already on a successful show, so what are you doing? And for me, it was just another way to be able to share all of my experiences with the fans. So. I didn't really care that it was, you know, sort of backwards. I wanted to do it anyways. And now, I mean, you see Will Smith and The Rock and a lot of successful actors who are moving over to the YouTube space. Yeah. Uh, it's a very bold move, actually, to open a YouTube channel uh, in, in, in that, in that mm -hmm. place. Uh, we see that most of the um, traditional celebrities are right now moving into YouTube, Instagram, or Snapchat. And, um, what do you think about the power of being a traditional media celebrity, but at the same time being on digital media? Because normally when we talk about social media influencer, most of the people think like these people, are, are, are like they're normal people, they're not famous, they're not celebrities, but they are being celebrity on digital media, but you were a celebrity before that. Uh, do you think it has more power like, how did this benefit to you? Yeah, I mean, I, I love, you know, being playing different characters when I'm acting, and that's always fun, and being able to tell other people's stories. But then I also do a lot of fun things and get to meet a lot of fun people as Shay and not as a character. So that's where, you know, being very socially active came about. I just wanted to share my experiences that I was so grateful to have with the fans and people who had not only grown to know me as a character, but also I wanted them to know me outside of the characters that I played. And also with social media, you know, I'm in control of, of putting out there what I want. And that's something that you don't have a control about when you're an actor. It's a very interesting point. And when you start doing that, people start to learn about your personal life as well. How do you manage this, this balance? I kind of have a rule. If I put it out on social media, then I think it's fair game and you can ask me about it. If I don't, then I'm not going to answer any questions about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is a fine line. When I'm with my family, I put my phone down a lot of the time and I want to enjoy that. Um, and there's certain things that I'm, I don't publicize a lot uh, that I choose to keep sort of sacred to myself. And I think you have to have some of those moments. You can't show everything. Um, what do you think the, uh, the using mix of conventional media with the digital media? Because we also see a clash sometimes between these two mediums. And people uh, who are born with digital are blaming media, the traditional media, and the, the same for the people in the traditional media as well. But you are using both, and you are mixing it really well. Uh, which is like increasing the power of one and bringing all together and making it three, like instead of two. I mean, I think conventional media, conventional media now is, is you know, shows on Netflix. That's, you know, newer. It's not just having to be on broadcast or on cable now. And I think that you need that as well. I mean, I can't imagine not having Netflix. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do with my weekends. Um, so for me, it, it's, you know, I love being able to kind of dabble on both sides with conventional media and TV shows and content that's put out with other people. I mean, we're just different kind of creators, you know? So it's fun to kind of play on both sides. Um, this, I think this also affects the uh, pro professional side of the business. And normally you're acting on movies, you're in TV series, but right now I think you're getting lots of requests from the brands to work with them on social media, mm -hmm. which I think makes 
uh, the business shifting to digital? How do you manage this? I mean, do you think in the future, for instance, you, I don't know, wouldn't act in, in any TV series? I mean, in the future, yeah, people ask that. Well, if you continue doing the channel and being socially active, I mean, my goal is to be the bucket list family, so <laughs> eventually that's a good life. Um, no, I mean, I have so much fun getting to play different characters and stepping into different people's shoes. You know, when I'm doing a shaycation, that's me. And uh, I'm not really playing another character, I'm playing myself. So it is fun to kind of dabble into other characters as well. I don't think I, I would ever give up acting. I think that being a brand ambassador and using my social platforms to work with different brands has allowed me to only choose acting jobs that I feel very passionate about. So it has given me that luxury. So I'm not having to just take a job on a show I'm not really passionate about. You know, with social media and working with these brands, it's been another career. Yeah. Do you have any strict rules when working with brands for your Instagram accounts or YouTube channel? What are they? I have to actually love your product. I have to either have used it or have wanted to use it. It has to be a genuine partnership. Otherwise, the fans and everybody can see through it. I can spot it out right away when people work with brands and I'm like, have you used it? Let me ask you a few questions. And I think for me, at least, I have to be honest uh, with the, the people that follow me on social media. I'm not gonna just put something out there for a paycheck. It's extremely important to me that, you know, these are products and, and brands and people that I feel strongly about and I actually admire, yeah. Do you think it, it, it will continue if I'm asking this because it's another point of discussion, uh, like, um, like stating social media as a trend rather than a solid and rigid uh, business, in, especially in some regions, in some countries, in some markets. What do you think about it in future? Do you think the business, the professional business will uh, increase in social media or how do you think the ratio will be? Because normally brands are spending money on still traditional media, mm -hmm. TVs, movies, uh, they are spending money on digital or social media influences, yeah. but still it's not that much high when we compare to other media. I mean, I think eventually it's going to move over to you know brands marketing with social influencers. And I think the reason why is because, you know, if I use a brand, I know a lot about it. So when they partner with me, you know, their demographic is most likely my demographic, and so I would know how to market it the way that would entice me with that brand. And I think it's just a different perspective. You know, they have their ways of doing traditional media with magazines and all of that, but if I get more views in a certain magazine, then, you know, it's a little bit more attractive to that brand. And also, I love that part of partnering up with a brand. I think, you know, that's the most fun, is when you get to collaborate and come up with a way that you can really show you know, your enthusiasm for whether it be a product or a company or whoever it is that you're working with. I love that part. I love working with the brand to put something out there that will, you know, show the reason why I like the product or whatever it is so much. So do you, you add your own thoughts, your own opinions, your own... Yeah, it's my own personal stamp, and I think that's, you know, what a lot of influencers do. What I do is going to be so different from what some other girl does or some other guy, you know? That's what I think makes it interesting. So I, I love the way that you know traditional marketing has now moved over to influencers. I think it's great. They get to spin it their own way, yeah. and that's fun. Yeah. Uh, how, how is your relations with your the followers? Uh, I can imagine that you you should be getting thousands of messages every day. How do you manage that? Like how, how do you? I don't sleep. <laughs> I actually <laughs> don't. Um, no, you know. I hope they appreciate it. No, I, I love doing what I do, and I love being able, like I said, to share my experiences with them. That's where Shaycation came about. You know, I had a lot of times where I'd be traveling, I'd post a photo on Instagram, and you know, the fans would be like, that's a great photo, but like, what else did you do? And I couldn't really show that in Instagram. I couldn't show that on Facebook. I couldn't show that in any other platform. So for me, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start this series, it's gonna be called Shaycation, and I'm gonna really take you along with me to these different places that I'm traveling to. And it was also important for me to be, when I go to these places, to kind of, you know, debunk the, uh, the idea or, or the you know assumption that a lot of people have about certain places I was going to, you know, when I was going to uh, certain places, they'd be like, "Oh, are you sure you should be going there right now? Is it safe?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll show you." You know, when I show you and I break it down, and I want traveling to be seen as something that's fun and not to be scared about, and 
all the amazing things that comes from it because it's my absolute favorite thing to do is to go to different places that I've never been, experience and immerse myself in that culture and meet all the beautiful people and travel the f and try the foods, a lot of the foods and you know, I love it. So I just wanted to share that love with everybody and, and for me it was doing it on YouTube. Yeah, great. I'm gonna ask the vacation, uh, but before that, um, how do you feel like you, you got up to 20 million followers on Instagram, for instance. Uh, if, let's say, Instagram, YouTube, they're all shut down today, <laughs> how do you feel tomorrow? <laughs> that I'll just be outside of my house, like doing a little show or something to entertain people. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, gosh, what would I do with all my time? Um, I don't know. I enjoy it so much, but I, you know, I love social media because I love being inspired with what other people are doing. You know, I love looking at other influencers, other girls, their style, I admire it, the beauty and, and how different people travel and what they're shooting and their aesthetic. Like, I love it. I just get so inspired. Everybody has a different eye and a different spin on how they see the world. And I think that that's amazing that we can all witness that now from you know, our phones in our bed, some takeout. I think it's great. About the vacation traveling, um, you're tra traveling a lot, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, how do you grab the content when you travel to a country, a city, when you experience something in that city? How do you choose the content to promote? How, because that should be interesting for your audience. How do you select those? I mean, experiences, gastronomy, what do you seek for when you travel? I seek for what is real about the place that I'm going to. I don't want to do you know, what every other tourist is doing. I do a little bit of that, but then I always love to go off the beaten past. I mean, my best memories from trips are when we took a little back road and it ended us leading to this you know, random village where you'd see the kids getting walked home with their parents and it was just beautiful. You really immerse yourself in that culture. I don't want to do everything that's written about in travel guides. I want to go and seek for the realness that you, know, you find sometimes by not following a map and just going with your intuition, just following your heart in place, you know? So I say yes to almost everything when I'm away. If I meet people abroad and they're like, hey, you wanna come over here, come to my house, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, sure, let's do it. You know, why not? Take me into your home, show me your culture, show me what you love so much about your country, your city. I wanna know. I wanna live like a local when I'm there. So I try to get out of the hotel as much as possible. I mean, this one's great, obviously, but um, I always want to go and see what's out there. And I, I really do want to just live like a local when I'm there. Um, like 10 years ago, when we were uh, thinking about the destinations, new cities, or traveling, of course, uh, the content was so limited. Mm -hmm. Let's say like Maldives or, or mm -hmm. even Doha. In almost every country, the content was so limited. But right now, the content is like way more than we consume, we can consume. Mm -hmm. uh, which brings the competition mm -hmm. in terms of attracting, creating attracting content. Mm -hmm. So let's say like when you go to a destination, a, a city, how do you differentiate your content? Because it shouldn't be the same like everyone posts, right? Totally. I mean, for me and what I tell everybody else is, is just being as unique and as authentic as you can be. I'm showing you things that I found enjoyment from, things that I thought were beautiful, people who I met on my journey. That's not gonna be similar to really anybody else's. I'm not trying to be anybody else. I really just am trying to show you my perspective. And I think that is what is so important with social media, is that you don't try and be anybody else. You don't try and follow anyone else's aesthetic. You know, pull inspiration from it. But again, speak your own story. You know, all of us have a story. My life isn't any more exciting. I mean, I'm just spinning it and editing it in a cool way. I'm not, cruises. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just how you tell your story. And we're all living such incredible stories that, you know, it, it's, it's entertaining and, and it can be inspirational to so many people that you have no idea about. So I don't really worry about, I don't, I can't even, competition? I mean, that's not, I don't even look at it like that. I just am putting content out there that, you know, I, I experienced and was so lucky to be able to experience. And if you like it, it's cool. If you don't, shut it off. That's the beautiful thing. Your computer doesn't just come on. You can turn it off or you can go to somebody else's channel, you know? It's a, it's, yeah, so. 
That's just so how I look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, there are more than 50 creators right now in this hall, and I'm sure that uh, within the millions that follows you, there are lots of people who want to be a creator and influencer, but you are doing this business in a very professional level with the team, with the level of, I don't know, deals you, you have with the brands, the companies. What can you suggest to those? Because it's kind of new type of rich um, business, like a job to do. Like before, for instance, 20 years ago or 50, 50 years ago, 15 mm -hmm. years ago, um, when we are kids, uh, we all wanted to be a footballer mm -hmm. or I don't know, an actress and, or an mm -hmm. actor, but right now, these kids mm -hmm. want to be influencers, creators. So there are lots of people who want to this business at a very professional level. What would you suggest to them? Because um, having such a really good role model would be very important. I'd say go out and do it. You know, if there's nothing stopping you, if you really want it, and it's hard work too. It's, you know, it's always so funny when people are like, another vacation? I'm like, I'm working more hours on this than I did on my TV show. So it, it's, it's work, it really is. I mean, if people knew the amount of time that goes into, you know, the taking the photos, the, the picking out the outfits for these trips, because you're wearing three in a day, and then, you know, how are you gonna take the shot? Where are the locations you're gonna shoot at? There's so many variables that come into this. And even with shooting, you know, sometimes I have been on a trip where I'm like, I don't wanna shoot today, and they're like, come on. And I'm like, okay, but I know that people will enjoy it afterwards, and I'll enjoy looking back at those memories afterwards. So, you know, I, I get out of bed and I do my thing and, and I love it, but it is work. And um, I think it, if people want to do that and they want to aspire now to be, you know, influencers in whatever capacity that is, then go for it and do it. You know, if you're passionate about it and you don't mind putting in the hard work and you're going to be dedicated and consistent, then I think there's, there's nothing that's going to be able to stop you. Speak your voice and go and share your story, you know. Great. Um, I'd like to take a couple of questions from the audience. No. No? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can, we, can we have the mic? Uh, do we have any questions, guys? No? Nope. No, we have all the, <laughs> we have. Can we start? Who is that? I don't know that person. I've never seen him here. I've never seen him before. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, just holler. Your life, your life, the bucket list family. <laughs> I mean, that's the end goal, right? No, but for real, uh, it, it's it's definitely in that. I'm super inspired by the bucket list family. I I love the story. Um, I've followed other families, you know, too, that are doing the same thing and. How beautiful is that, being able to take your kids on the road and travel the world? Like, duh, I mean, that's my end goal, yeah. I, I'm super happy with what I'm doing now and I'm able to do that with people that I love and, and you know, we're working together and it's a really fun experience. And to do that with the family and, you know, I can only imagine, like, it's awesome. So, your life. <laughs> Just gotta have kids first. <sighs> I'm not gonna ask you about that. Yeah. <laughs> we have another question over there. I don't pay attention to it. If I'm happy and I'm living the life that I've always dreamed of, what, like, I, I'm sorry, I don't really care. You know, and that's the thing that I've had to learn because when I was in school and growing up, thank goodness I didn't have social media back then because it's hard, you know, and that's why for me, Something else that's super important is going and talking to girls in school and, you know, talking about bullying online and social media because I can't stand it. And the stories that I hear and, and, you know, it's just insane. And I think it's important also for me to, to share with those girls and guys, I mean, everything that goes into it. Not just the work, but I mean the editing. Come on. Who, Everybody edits their photos now. Not waking up like this, there's makeup, I have the best makeup artist, I have the best hair person, there's lighting, there's everything that goes into it. So for me, it's important to speak that message. But um, the negative comments, I mean, I've dealt with bullying and all that when I was in school. So now coming at it, it's like, 
I just feel bad. Just go and live your life that you want. You know what I mean? I can't really focus. I don't combat negativity, negativity with negativity. Can I speak? I don't combat negativity with negativity. The only way to you know, rise above that is to be positive. I'm going to keep being me and being positive. Yeah, I don't pay attention to it. Um, places that I'm excited to go to, places I haven't maybe been before or, you know, showcased in that way. Uh, I've shot a vacation, just one that's going to be coming out soon, to India. I went to India once, twice before, loved it, and then got to come back and shoot it. So, you know, I, I pick places that I'm genuinely interested about, but really that's almost everything. I think I can find beauty in any place, city, where, whatever. So, it's, um... Yeah, it's just saying yes when it comes to that. If anything arises, you know, uh, with this, I was so excited to come down. I'd never been to Doha, um, and I was super excited. So then with that, I get to showcase it and, you know, put it into a shakation. What's in the bucket list for the next year? Uh, what? I haven't been to Japan yet. That's something. Vietnam. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And... Uh, what are the other trips? I, there's so many different trips that I want to do. I want to, yeah, I have a whole list of places. And it's funny because I've always been a big fan of like manifesting and visualizing. So I'll put it on like a travel, you know, board that I have at home. And I mean, it hasn't failed me yet. So I've put on different trips and they all come about in some way or another. No, we have a guest here who traveled 197 countries in the world. <laughs> you should meet him. And how long? Johnny, Johnny, where are you? Yeah, or there. Oh yeah. my gosh, how long? <laughs> you should meet him and get Ten some years. Yeah. Wow, did you shoot the whole thing? Very little of it. I was broke for the first five years, so I couldn't even afford a camera for the first <laughs> right. five. I mean, iPhone photos, couple photos? Yeah. But I love that too, because they're all up here, right? Yeah. So that's kind of amazing. That's awesome. Redo it. Just film the whole thing. Have a couple kids. You know what I mean? Film it. Um, that's awesome, though. I mean, I also love that, too. Putting down the phone is also extremely important when I'm traveling. I do want to enjoy it and live in the moment because I preach that to other people. And I have to remember, remind myself, too, to kind of be like, OK, here, put the phone down. Take a look around. You know, enjoy this moment. Soak it in. It's in my memory. Just because I didn't snap it doesn't mean it didn't happen. You know, I have to remind myself of that too. So, cool. Um, one, okay, two. We got two. Okay, two last questions then. <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like setting up the light and everything. No, I'm kidding. You know, I've never actually thought about how much time I dedicate. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll maybe have a dinner and put our phones down, but then, like, what if something happens, you know? So we should shoot it. Um, I, hmm, you know, I probably could do more of that. But again, it's fun with me, the people that we're traveling with. And it's, it's we're always having fun. So even though it's shooting, it's not totally, like, work, work, you know? Um, and again, we're, I'm wanting to capture real moments, so it's nothing really like planned or scripted or anything like that. So we're just basically, yeah, it's shooting all the time, but I'm, I'm just getting to live, so it's kind of fun. But I don't really, yeah, we don't really put the camera down that often. <laughs> and the last one, please. Thanks to social media, I mean, being on the show that I was on, it tackled a lot of issues and, you know, having the fans come up and just say how much of an impact that the character that I played had on their lives was incredible. And then having people come up to me and saying that 
you know, whatever I did or put out there inspired them in some way, shape, or form is also incredible. So that inspires me to keep going, you know? And I think, like I said earlier, I'm so inspired by other people's content that's put out on social media that, I mean, I don't even have time to pay attention to the negative. I just focus on, on all the positive stuff and the good news that's going on with the world and all the good that other people are doing. And, and yeah, that, kind, that just is what inspires me. Thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. It was a nice chat.